Other refugees are also beginning to arrive in western Wisconsin, and as of tonight, we still don't know how many will be brought here. Charlotte has the latest on that process. Officials with Fort McCoy say refugees will continue to arrive throughout this week. Right now, Fort McCoy is working with the Department of Defense to provide temporary housing visas for the families and at-risk individuals. The White House says all Afghan refugees are going through biometric and biographical vetting in the Middle East before landing in the U.S and heading to U.S. bases. Monroe County leaders we spoke with today say they're still waiting for more information and right now are emphasizing they are ready to help. Monroe County is a friendly and open to uh, the residents, you know, or non-residents, in this case refugees that are trying to flee a tough circumstance, you know. Uh, it isn't too often that Monroe County is thrust into the national spotlight, so Again, this is one of those opportunities we as a county have a chance to shine too. Schnitzler says the Monroe County Sheriff has been contacted to help with traffic control near Fort McCoy. County leaders say social services organizations have also been reaching out to find out how to help the refugees. Thousands of additional refugees will be housed at Fort Lee in Virginia and Fort Bliss in Texas. About a thousand service members from the U.S. Army and Army Reserve will help provide support to the refugees arriving.